All right, we're gonna take a look at straddle leg lifts or working on our hip compression in this straddle position. So we're gonna place our hands down in front or at a position that's comfortable for you. So we eventually wanna to get to this position where we're leaning forward, protracting, staying in this position and being able to lift the legs up. This might not be accessible, so I'll show you the early stages. What you might need to do is lean back. So you lean back like this and what we're doing is developing strength in the hip flexors by lifting them up. So hip flexion. So we're lifting the legs up. So I lean back and I lift up here. If this is too hard, actually easier variation again would be to do one leg at a time. If you've suffered a hip flexor injury or you're not feeling really strong, you can concentrate one hand either side of that leg, concentrate on one leg at a time. And I normally do about 10 to 15 lifts and then a hold, a static hold, developing that power and that hip flexion strength. But if you can do both, it looks like this, leaning back, and then as you progress over time, you want to slowly walk those hands further forward to in front of the body, so we're working on that compression, so we're bringing the upper body down, pressing hard into the floor, and then lifting those legs as high as you possibly can. A couple of details with this, make sure you point your toes, flex your quad to make sure that the leg is dead straight, so what we're doing is lifting through the hip flexor. We're not lifting through the toes, or through the ankles, or through the knee. That is all locked in to like one piece and we're just hinging from here. So leaning forward, lifting up for the amount of reps. Maybe it's 10 to 15, even 20, and then holding for a time here as well. So really building that time under tension. You might get cramps in through the quads and hip flexors. It's gonna happen, especially at the early stages. Just keep going, try to push through it. What you might need to do is kind of stretch it out, uh, but don't shy away from this exercise. Especially if you've got weak hip flexors, this is the best exercise to strengthen them up, especially leading into doing press work, press the handstands, stalders, leg raises, all that kind of stuff. This